boys welcome back to another video so as always every single monday we go through my last week's earnings and see how much gold we made during the 10 million gold challenge and we're pretty close i mean uh i'm sitting at 8.7 almost 8.8 .8 million gold so uh really like 1.2 million and we hit the goal so how we do this we basically just look through the mailbox and we see what items were sold and if you sent anything of interest i'm gonna mention it like if it's a good sale or where i got the item and so on we can see right off the bat that we have 174 sold auctions, which is around the uh, the average 132,000 gold on the first 50 auctions. So going through the list, we have uh, we have horrible sales as well. Fireman leggings. I used to sell these for 25,000 gold, like early Legion. Now they're down to a thousand gold. It's really really bad. Sold some primal mana. Then we have just like minor trans transmog items, but it all adds up. Like a 4.7, 2.6. Like it all adds up. We have a really good one, like the Crystal Wood Bracers, which is the uh, depleted ones, selling for 17,000 gold. I have, like, I've had a struggle selling these, so uh, that was that was really nice. We also sold some golden pearls from uh, Swamp of Sorrows, farming the Murlocs, so 400 gold each pearl, not bad. More primals, nothing of interest, some primal fires. And a first man app from STV, World Drop, 14,000 gold. It's not the best, but it's not too bad either. I have a lot of them, so I'm just glad to sell them at all. But uh, the reason why I'm doing materials such as gold, pearl, and primals is just because whenever uh, I hit these 10 million, we're gonna, I'm going to stop completely doing materials, and I'm just going to move over to uh, pure transmog. Like it's going to be uh, zero gold to 10 million gold doing transmog only. So I just want to reach. Like we all know that material sells faster than transmog, so. I wanted to farm a bit of uh, a bit of primals just to speed the process up a little bit. But all of these minor transmogs, I mean, the next 50 auctions has a value of 182,000 gold. And there's nothing interesting on this first page. Not really. Glorious Boots, they're now 4.6k. Used to be like five times that at least. 2.9, 4.5... There's a bronze whelpling selling for 8,000 gold. It's not too bad. These shoulders from Thailand, uh, Island of Thunder, 24,000 gold. I made so much gold on Island of Thunder. It's probably been my best farm during this 10 million gold challenge. But I will make a separate video once I uh, hit gold cap to talk a bit about it. Another bronze whelpling, 8.4k. Black tabby cat selling for 27,000 gold. Lesser parry has a market value of like 125,000 gold. Sells for 35,000 gold, but I mean, it's lesser parry, it's a formula, only collectors are going to be interested in it, so I really don't mind. But 182,000 gold on those first auctions, it's not too shabby. The, the second batch of 50 auctions, sorry. And, uh, I mean, we're definitely going to go past 9 million. I just hope, I hope that I can make a lot, either a lot of gold this week. Like, I have to get done in two weeks, right? So, um with the uh the 10 million gold because we're probably gonna end up at like 9.2 ish and eight hundred thousand gold in two weeks that's definitely uh doable definitely doable the next 50 auctions we have a value of 236 thousand gold so it's going up it's going up that's good what have i sold this time oh vanguard chest 21k dropped in Salitas. Minor items like these gut trenders from STV selling for 4.2k. That's not bad. That's really not bad. Like, they're so easy to obtain. I probably got these three in like less than five minutes. Giant dinosaur bones selling for like four gold a pop. You get 10,000 bones, it's 40,000 gold in just the bones. I didn't sell this these bones through uh, trade chats. I could have made more. We have a Crystal Forge Sword from the Blades Edge farm, the Depleted farm. Spellfire Robe, which is a crafted mog. Glorious leg plate, 63,000 gold. And that was probably the high item. Another first mid hat, almost 19,000 gold for that one. And yeah. Alright, so we don't have, we only got like 22 auctions left. But that's really good. We're going to be at like, after this clean out, like 9.3 million, probably. So yeah, 9.3 million with 22 auctions left to check. Come on. Let me see. 
So 43,000 gold on the last auctions. Selling a lot of Dark Whelplings. A lot of Dark Whelplings. But besides from the Dark Whelplings, I mean, there's a Swift Arrow Leggings. Selling for 11k, which is a crafting mod, is really good. Besides from that, there's nothing of interest. Only these minor items, but you guys see, I sell transfer items for less than 1,000 gold, less than 300 gold. It's all about the sell rate. If it has a high sell rate, it doesn't matter if the value is like 200 gold. You're going to make gold regardless. But um, we're selling at 9,382,000 gold, which means that we made... How much? Let me just see. 596,000 gold. So 600,000 gold this week. Not bad. I mean, if I can keep that up, maybe go farm a bit more this week, we should be able to hit gold cap in a week. Maybe. 600k? It's doable. It's definitely doable. Even I have some gold on my farming tunes as well that I get like raw gold from running farms. So if I send that, we might hit it. But we'll see. Anyways, if there's any questions just whatsoever about this challenge, my next challenge or anything else like just leave them down in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer every single one of them and i will see you all in the next video thanks for watching bye bye